Coming up, it's the High School Quiz Show quarterfinals with Sharon High School. Taking on Somerville High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show. You can file a claim. You can pay your bill. Safety's mobile app helps you manage life storms for your auto, home, and business. Ask an independent agent about safety insurance. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host. Today's matchup is the third of our quarterfinal rounds, and the goal is to become the next High School Quiz Show state champion. Before we meet the teams, it's that time to grab your mobile phone, your tablet, your laptop, so you can all play along live right now. And if you think you've got what it takes to earn a spot on the leaderboard, log in at highschoolquizshow.org slash play live. Today's quarterfinal matchup, Sharon High School taking on Somerville High School. Let's get right to it and meet the teams. From Sharon, we have Clara, Sidar, Peter, and Sam. Let's hear it for Sharon. Hi! <laughs> On the Somerville team, uh, we've got Celine, Miles, Graham, and John. Let's hear it for Somerville. Hi! Competition has four rounds, a toss-up round, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. And we start with a toss-up round. All answers worth 10 points. And this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. As a reminder, there is no conferring. You'll need to wait for the complete question to be read before you can buzz in. So if you guys are ready to go, I am, and I know the audience is, let's play the game. The first 10 amendments to the U.S. Constitution are collectively known as what? Clara. Bill of Rights. Yes. Palermo is the capital city of what Italian island? Sidor. Sicily. Yes. What U.S. representative from Ohio is the current Speaker of the House? Clara. John Boehner. Yes. Uh, who introduced 630 words to the English language, nearly twice as many as Shakespeare, and is best known as the author of Paradise Lost? Peter. John Milton. Yes. Uh, New England colonists wanted to offset their unfavorable trade balance with England by manufacturing what beverage made from molasses? Peter. Rum. Yes. In 2013, who became the first British female artist to sell 10 million copies of an album in the United States with her album, 21? John. Adele. Correct. In 1543, in his book on the revolutions of the heavenly spheres, who argued that the sun rather than the earth is the center of the solar system? Yes, Miles. Galileo. No, Sharon. Yes, Peter. Copernicus. Yes. Uh, what American playwright wrote the screenplay for the 1961 film The Misfits, specifically for his wife, Marilyn Monroe? Yes, Celine. Arthur Miller. Yes. Uh, dinosaurs ruled the land during what geologic time period named for a mountain range between Switzerland and France? Yes, Sid Arthur? The Jurassic period. Yes. And uh, your next question up on the video screens right in front of you, so take a look. Hi, I'm Bob Gallery, Massachusetts President for Bank of America. Here's my question. The first United States coin in circulation that commemorated a woman was minted in 1979. This $1 coin depicts what suffragette from Adams, Massachusetts? Peter. Susan B. Anthony. That is correct. We move on. The Bitterroot Mountain Range forms almost the entire border between Idaho and what U.S. state to the northeast? Graham. Montana. Yes. In about 4 billion years, the Milky Way might be headed for a collision with what galaxy designated M31? Peter? Andromeda. Yes. She lives in a world of her own, a world of little glass ornaments. Tom Wingfield says this about his sister Laura in what play by Tennessee Williams? Yes, Graham. The Glass Menagerie. Correct. 
Along with Pompeii, which of the following towns was buried by Mount Vesuvius in 79 A.D.? Was it A, Salerno, B, Herculaneum, or C, Naples? Yes, it are. Herculaneum. Yes. Math question. If a square has an area of 625 square centimeters, what is the perimeter of the square in centimeters? Uh, Siddharth? 100. Correct. In August 2013, what 83-year-old South Boston mobster was found guilty of 31 counts of racketeering, conspiracy, and murder? Siddharth. Whitey Bulger? Yes. Name the type of cell division that results in cells with half the chromosome number of the original cell. Celine. Meiosis? Yes. Uh, Sir Ian McKellen uh, plays what leader of the Brotherhood of Mutants in the X-Men film series? Graham. Magneto. Yes. First discovered in Israel in 1947, what ancient documents written mostly in Hebrew are widely acknowledged to be the greatest manuscript discovery of the 20th century? Miles. Dead Sea Scrolls. Yes. Uh, now, your next question is from uh, the Nova Secret Life of Scientists and Engineers web series, and it's coming up on your video screen right now. Hi, I'm Danielle Whitaker, and I study evolutionary biology. Here's my question. Along with the chimpanzee, what species of ape is the closest living relative to humans? And Peter? Orangutan? No, Somerville. Yes, Graham? Bonobo? Bonobo is correct. Uh, by the way, fun fact about Danielle in the video right there, happens to be a roller derby referee. Wow. <laughs> so cool. So cool, right? Uh, we move on. In uh, a recent article, the New York Times referred to North Korea's authoritarian and hermetic society. Which of the following words best describes a hermetic in this context? A, violent, B, isolated, C, paranoid. Uh, Miles? Isolated. Yes. In 2013, British archaeologists announced uh, that a chariot crash was the likely cause of death of what Egyptian pharaoh who ascended to the throne around age 10? Celine? Two in common? Yes. Uh, the 20th Amendment to the Constitution mandates that the U.S. presidential terms begin on what date in January? Celine? January 20th? Yes. Anderson Silva, a.k.a. the Spider, is considered one of the greatest fighters of what full-contact combat sport known as MMA? Yes, Graham? Wrestling? No. Sharon? Peter? Mixed martial arts? Yes. Math question. Uh, what is 40 squared minus 30 squared? Sam? 700? Yes. Uh, what southern state is home to Lake Okeechobee, one of the largest lakes in the United States? Siddharth. Florida? Yes. What American physicist who led the Manhattan Project was later barred from government research because of his leftist sympathies? Yes, Celine. Oppenheimer? Yes. John Philip Sousa's The Stars and Stripes Forever features an elaborate section for what instrument that's the highest pitched woodwind? Yes, Graham. The piccolo? Piccolo is correct. Uh, during the last uh, Ice Age, humans migrated from Asia to North America as they followed large game like buffalo and uh, what animal that's also known as reindeer? Celine. Caribou? Yes. Uh, because of anti-German sentiment during World War I, England's uh, royal family changed its last name from Saxe-Coburg and Gotha to what? Yes, Peter. Windsor. Yes. What two-word Latin term meaning to a sickening degree or to the point of nausea describes a topic that has been discussed excessively? Peter? Ad nauseum. Yes. Uh, the Murray-Darling River Basin is a large geographical area in the southeastern part of what country? Siddharth? Australia. Yes. Myrtle Beach is a seaside resort on the coast of what U.S. state? Yes, John? South Carolina. Yes. Uh, what Swedish film? Oh, there's the buzzer ending round one. The score right now. Ooh, it's close. Sharon High School, 180 points. Somerville High School, 150 points. Let's hear it. Oh, boy. is up next. We're going to take a little break and get to know the players, if you will. Uh, I've got a question, guys. You've done this before. This is a different question, though. And, uh, Clara, we're going to start with you. Besides cost, uh, what are the most important factors that will influence uh, your college selection process? Um, I'm looking for a mid-sized school in New England with a good bio program. 
Okay, and how about you, Siddharth? Um, I think probably diversity in the education and the people and wherever I get in. <laughs> <laughs> so any schools out there watching, he just wants in. He's not asking for a whole lot. Uh, Peter, how about you? Uh, I think a big research university is what I'm looking for. Anything in mind? Uh, no. Your chance to sell them on you. Now's your chance. <laughs> Are you really the president of the ping pong club? I am. Wow. <laughs> you should come down. It's Tuesdays after school. Is that a challenge? Yeah. Okay, I'll was that you. a challenge? Yeah. Uh, how about you, Sam? Um, I think a school in New York City that has a good arts program and a science program. Okay, and we're moving over to Somerville. Celine? I'm looking for a school where there's a lot of community service going on and volunteering clubs. Okay, how about you, Miles? I'm looking for a good engineering school. Okay, any in mind yet? Uh, Michigan, University of Michigan, or RPI. All right, Michigan, you watching? Uh, Graham? Um, I want to go to a school with a strong queer straight alliance. Okay, and finally, John? Uh, I'm looking for a school with an uh, urban setting. All right, very good. Now, here's the deal. Head to head, you guys all know how it works. One team member is going to come forward and go head to head. So, Sharon, who's it going to be? Siddharth Somerville. Celine. Celine, Siddharth, Celine. Come on down, let's go head to head. Okay, here we go, the head to head round. I've got Siddharth to my right, Celine to my left. You guys wanna shake hands? It's okay. Uh, the head to head round has 90 seconds. And as you probably know by now, you get 10 points for correct answers and you lose 10 points for incorrect answers and you can buzz in as soon as you know the answer. So if you guys are ready, the clock is definitely set and I am ready. So here, here it goes. Name the fourth planet from the sun. Mars. Yes. Schoolboy stranded on an island devolve into savagery. Lord of the Flies. Yes. What Greek word for new refers to a noble gas used in electric signs and fluorescent lamps? Yes. Neon. Yes. The Mark Twain House and Museum located in what capital? Hartford. Yes. Uh, team of Rivals, the basis for the film Lincoln, was written by what presidential historian who lives in Concord? Yes. Um, David McCullough. No, Doris Kearns Goodwin. Name the largest artery in the human body. Yes? Aorta. Yes. What U.S. state emits more greenhouse gas emissions than any other state? California. No, Texas. In December 2013, Jacoby Ellsbury left the Red Sox and joined? The Yankees. Yes. What major river runs through the city of Baghdad in Iraq? Tigris. In Aldous Huxley's novel, Brave New World, the state controls society with what drug? Uh, television. No, Soma. Uh, how many of the current nine U.S. Supreme Court justices are women? Yes. Two. No, three. Uh, what Vermont native was the founder of the Mormon Church? Yes. Joseph Smith. Yes. In what year was George Washington sworn in as the nation's first elected president? 1789. A 1964 earthquake badly damaged what city that's Alaska's most populous city? Juneau. No, Anchorage. Uh, what small organ close to the liver and stomach can release extra white blood cells to fight disease? The spleen. The Snake River is, oh, the end of the head-to-head -head round. The score right now, Sharon High School, 210 points. Somerville High School, 150 points. Make some noise. There's Celine celebrating herself. <laughs> For the contestants here in studio and for everybody playing at home is the category round. We do have six categories. The A team, Good Night Moon, Where's Waldo, Checkmate, Old Hollywood, and Foul Play. Each category has five questions with increasing point values. So there is, as always, a lot at stake in this round. And by the way, you can confer. With your teammates in this round, you will need to wait for the complete question to be read before you can buzz in. But once you do, you're no longer able to confer, and we will need your answer. Now, Somerville, you've got a little ground to make up. You get to choose the first category. What's it going to be? Where's Waldo? Where's Waldo? Questions about Ralph, Waldo, Emerson, and the Transcendentalists for 10 points. In 1834, Emerson moved to what Massachusetts town that became the center of the Transcendentalist movement in New England? Celine? Concord? Yes, and you keep control of the board category. Where's Waldo? 15 points. 
He will make the gallows as holy as the cross. Emerson famously said this about what abolitionist sentenced to death for his raid at Harper's Ferry in West Virginia. Uh, Miles? John Brown. John Brown is right. Category? Waldo. Waldo for 20. While in jail in South Africa in 1907, Mohandas Gandhi read what Henry David Thoreau essay that would become a major part of his philosophy upon his return to India? Celine? Civil disobedience. Yes, and you've still got the board, Somerville. Where's Waldo? For 25 points. What 1836 essay by Emerson is generally considered the watershed moment at which transcendentalism became a major cultural movement? Yes, Clara. Nature. Nature is right. Sharon gets control of the game category. Checkmate, please. Okay, we're going to checkmate. Uh, these are questions about famous checks. And for 10 points, during the 70s and 80s, who won 43 out of 80 tennis matches against her rival, Chris Everett? Martina Navratilova. Uh, Sharon, you've still got control. Category? Uh, good night, moon, please. Good night, moon. Uh, questions about moons for 10 points. Titania and Oberon are the two largest moons of what planet that's seventh in distance from the sun? Peter? Uh, Saturn. No, Somerville, you want to try it? Yes, Celine. Uranus? That is correct, and you've got the board back category. Waldo? We're going back to Waldo. 30 points this time. What transcendentalist from Cambridge, Mass., is remembered for her landmark book, Woman in the 19th Century, which examined the place of women within society? <laughs> Margaret Fuller, the answer there. Somerville, you've still got it. Category, you'll need a new one. Good night, Moon. For 15 points, of the four terrestrial planets in the solar system, which two have moons? <laughs> Celine? Earth and Mars. Yes, you've still got it. Category? Moon. 20 points. Uh, what Latin word for sea describes the flat, dark areas on the moon that were once thought to be seas? Mare. Somerville, you've still got it. Uh, we'll go for moon again. Moon for 25. What small moon of Mars has a diameter of only about 10 miles? Yes, Graham. Phobos. No, Sharon, you want to take a shot? Deimos is the answer there. And you've still got the board, Somerville. Um, we'll go back to moon. You want to go to moon? 30 points. We'll go to the moon. Uh, named in advance by Neil Armstrong, what lunar landing base was the site of the Eagles' historic landing July 20th, 1969? Yes, Peter. Uh, the Sea of Tranquility? No. Somerville, you want to take a shot? No. It's Tranquility or Tranquility Base is the correct answer there. So, Somerville, you've still got it. You'll need a category, though. Checkmate. Okay, checkmate this time for 15 points. In 1997, what American public official born in Prague became the first woman to hold the cabinet post of U.S. Secretary of State? Celine? Albright. Madeline Albright is right. You've still got the board. Foul play. Questions about birds and for 10 points. Uh, what fictional character lives with a teddy bear named Radar in a large nest behind a brownstone at 123 Sesame Street. Yes, Graham. Big Bird. Big Bird, yes. Uh, category, Somerville? Foul play, Foul play. Again, please. Foul play for 15. In 1941, what small songbird was designated as the state bird of Massachusetts? Celine? Chickadee. Be a little more specific. The black-capped chickadee? That is correct. And you'll keep the board, Somerville. Oh, uh, we'll go back to foul play. 20 points. The Adelie and the Chinstrap are species of what bird order that's the most common bird in the Antarctic? Yes, Miles. Penguins. Penguins, right. Category, you've got it. Uh, foul play. Foul play for 25. Uh, the coat of arms of Australia depicts a kangaroo and what large flightless bird? Celine? An ostrich? No, Sharon, take a shot. Sid Arth. Emu. Emu is right. Sharon's got the board. Category? The A-team, please. We'll go with the A-team. All answers begin with the letter A and four, 10 points. Uh, what crazed drummer for the Muppet Band, the Electric Mayhem, plays three styles of music, loud, louder, and deafening? Graham? Animal. Animal is 
<laughs> right. Uh, Somerville category. Foul play. Foul play, please. We'll finish off foul play for 30 points. Often used as a symbol of obsolescence, what extinct bird appears as a character in Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll? Yes, Graham? The dodo. The dodo. And uh, now you'll need another category. The A-team, please. The A-team for 15. Much of the nation's nuclear program is conducted in what city located in the geographic center of New Mexico? Yes, John? Albuquerque. Correct. You've still got it. Category? A-team. 20 points. What long, thread-like extension of a nerve cell or neuron typically conducts electrical impulses away from the neuron cell body? Yes, Peter. Axon. Axon is right. Sharon gets the board. Category? The A-team. 25 points. Named after an Italian physicist, what law states that equal volumes of all gases at the same temperature and pressure contain the same number of molecules? Yes, said Arth. Avogadro. Yes, you've still got the board, Sharon. We'll finish 18, please. 30 points in 1663. John Eliot of Cambridge, Mass. published uh, the first complete Bible in America. It was printed not in English, but in what Native American language? Yes, Graham. Algonquin. That is correct. And Somerville, you've got control again. Category? Old Hollywood. Old Hollywood. Questions about the golden age of Hollywood for 10 points. When adjusted for inflation, what historical romance starring Clark Gable and Vivian Lee is the highest grossing film of all time? Yes, Clara. Gone with the Wind. Gone with the Wind. Category, Sharon? We'll keep it, please. Keep it for 15. What American actor, dancer, and director had the lead role in Singing in the Rain, regarded by many as the best dance musical ever? Yes, Graham. Gene Kelly. That is correct. Somerville, category? Old Hollywood again, please. Old Hollywood for 20. What 1927 film starring Al Jolson marked the rise of talkies and the decline of the silent film era? Yes, Celine. The Jazz Singer. That is correct. You've still got control. Old Hollywood. For 25 points. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. Uh, what screen legend from Lowell, Mass., says this in the 1950 film All About Eve? Betty Davis, the answer there. Uh, Somerville, category? Old Hollywood. For 30 points. What Hollywood choreographer is famous for films like Gold Diggers of 1933, which features chorus girls in elaborate kaleidoscopic dance numbers? Yes, Graham. Busby Berkeley. Busby Berkeley oh, is correct. Uh, only the one category left. Checkmate for 20. Uh, what Czech author wrote about a businessman who awakes to find that he's become a giant insect in his novella, The Metamorphosis? Yes, Clara. Kafka. Yes. For 25 points, what Czech author? Oh, there's the bell that ends the category round. Sharon High School right now, 295 points. Somerville High School, 380 points. How about it? Uh, we are headed into the final 90 seconds of game play, and we affectionately call it the lightning round. Uh, contestants, you will get 20 points for correct answers. Your incorrect answers will cost you 20 points. You can buzz in as soon as you know the answer. The clock is set, and here we go. Piranhas are fish that are native to the rivers of what continent? Peter? South America. Yes. Heartburn occurs when stomach acid backs up into what tube also known as, Peter? The esophagus. Yes, the Cambodian genocide of 1975 to 1979 was led by what dictator? Pol Siddharth? Pol Pot. Yes. Uh, what is the densest planet in the solar system? Yes, Graham. Mercury? No, Earth. What gulf is associated with a 1964 resolution that escalated U.S. involvement? Yes. Gulf of Tonkin. Yes. Uh, what extinct species that first appeared about two million years ago means upright man in Latin? Yes, Graham. Homo erectus. Yes. Tread lightly and leave no trace is the motto of what American youth organization founded in 1910? Yes, it are. Boy Scouts. Yes. Uh, what 1960 Broadway musical is based on T.H. White's novel, The Once and Future King? Yes, Graham. Camelot. Yes. What British major general led the 1775 Battle of Bunker Hill? Yes, Peter. Um, Gage. No, William Howe. Who wrote about a girl named Sarah Crewe in her children's novel, A Little Princess? Yes, Clara. Burnett. That is correct. Uh, Name the only country that borders Monaco. Yes, it are. France. Yes, the National Park Service is an agency of what U.S. Federal Department? Celine? The Interior. Yes, several hospitals in Istanbul are named after what English nurse who served? Yes, it are. Claire Burton. 
Uh, no, Florence Nightingale. The Battle of Gettysburg was fought over three days in what U.S. state, Peter? Pennsylvania. Yes. Uh, what was the only ship to rescue any survivors of the Titanic disaster? Oh, and there's the bell. I'm going to answer it. The Carpathia. Uh, but that is the end and the end of the game. And the winner right now this week, Somerville High School. How about it? 440 points. Congratulations to both teams. Somerville, 440. Sharon, 395. Somerville now moves on to the semifinals. But that's it for now. We'll see you all back here next week. High School Quiz Show. Great job, guys. Play along with High School Quiz Show every week at highschoolquizshow.org slash play live. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. Life is full of surprises. Some good, some not so good. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance's enhanced coverage for auto, home, and business so you don't get caught by surprise. Safety Insurance will help you manage life storms. Bank of America is proud to support High School Quiz Show and committed to education initiatives throughout Massachusetts, including citizen schools, Teach for America, and local boys and girls clubs. For more information, you can visit bankofamerica.com slash Boston. Production of Double.